Welcome to a dreary day in Charleston, South Carolina. Things actually got a lot worse after that first clip back there. Um, now it is storming, uh, flash flooding, and I love it. I love it. I am not a fan of having blazing sun for many days in a row, uh, says the girl who lived in Hawaii willingly for five years. I typically enjoy uh, a change in the weather, a darkness and rain and the feeling like you can be cozy on the couch or whatever and I, I wanted nothing more than to have a day like this on a day off so that I can do that in our new house because you know we're obviously settling in and really loving it and it just so happens that today is a day off but I do not feel like being cozy and cuddly at all and I think the reason for that is because I am finally in a place where any free time that we have isn't about moving and we've done a ton of cleaning as you saw in the last vlog to get it looking decent before we start other projects you know life is now opened up for doing the things that we want to do so Mike with his modeling project and me with my um, my business project and also us doing things around the house to make it more ours, like the floors and decorating, painting, all that kind of stuff. So with that said, I woke up super motivated today and I had planned to add the gym back into my life. I can count on one hand how many times that I went to the gym in the last three months and it's really sad and I wanna say it's sad for a different reason than it was a year ago. Last year I used fitness and aesthetics and macros and calories as a distraction for the fact that I was going through a really tough time with Mike deploying and us PCSing and not knowing where we were and then me living in Miami for the restaurant and it was just a crazy time and it was a huge part of my life and I kind of needed that obsession to take over so that I had something else to deal with and when your obsession is the way you look and how not pleased you are with it it doesn't really do good things for the brain or anything like that um i think it's age really i spent all of my 20s not liking the way i looked and i think that coming into early 30s maybe almost mid 30 no not mid yet oh my god anyway i'm 32. basically what i just quickly wanted to say was that all of those metrics that I was so obsessed about even last year have just don't matter as much to me. And uh, I think I realized recently in the past year that there's just so much more to life and um, I don't even weigh myself anymore, let alone have a specific program that I follow. Me and Mike take care of ourselves within the way we eat. I make sure that we buy good quality food, which is sometimes expensive, but it's worth it to us. And basically, I want to add the gym back into my life, not because I want to look a certain way, but mostly because I, it just makes me feel really good and it makes me feel accomplished and it gets my energy up and I just, it obviously, you know, it releases serotonin, dopamine and all that and I can feel that and I just really miss that. So me not going for a while is not shaming myself because of the way I look, but it's because I missed out on all of those opportunities to feel better in general. So yeah, I'm excited to add that back in. So I'm going to do that today, even though I let too much time go by this morning because I'm bulk making breakfast for the week. I edited the last vlog that you saw this morning. Mike forgot his hat or his cover for his uniform. So I had to pick up it immediately in the middle of nowhere and get into the car with my pajamas on and drive him, meet him at a gas station in the middle of the rush hour traffic for the base. So that kind of put a damper on things. And now I'm spending way too much time talking in front of a camera. So quickly, I'm gonna go to the gym, even if it's for 30 minutes, I'm just gonna go. I need to go to Target and get deodorant and bras and uh, just stuff for myself. I let my own self-care just kind of drop off the map since we moved here and I'm ready to just like pick that back up again or start at all. And then today I want to organize my office upstairs which is going to be a big project and I wanted to initially get it all done today but I don't think that's going to happen. I'm not going to put a lot of pressure on myself to get it 100% done either because I have the time and it'll be fine. Okay, now it's just clear and fine, which is exactly what I didn't want. 
the whole day. But maybe it'll start raining again. I think it's supposed to. Anyway, I went to Target. I debated whether or not I wanted to go home and shower before I did that, but I figured that I would get stuck at home and convince myself that it wasn't needed to go there. So, I'm starving right now. I got exactly what I needed. And I'm going to eat these bear chips, they're dried apples, on the way home. And then eat lunch. But anyway, I had a great workout. It was just like a full body, just kind of just doing whatever the hell I wanted. And it felt really good. And I'm excited to continue that, uh, just knowing that it makes me feel like good. Like good. So here is a little cooking hack. Whenever you want to reheat something, the best way to do it is heat it the way it was cooked. Um, but most of the time, especially like meats and stuff, they're, they get disgusting and I don't like microwaving meat. It just freaks me out. Um, so basically, I just put these sweet potatoes and this grass-fed burger from last night in a pot, I'm sorry, in a pan, and just put a little bit of water in so that it steams, and then I have it on like medium-high heat, and it'll heat through without really cooking it more if you let it just go a few minutes. So that is my cooking hack of the day. Excuse me. Did you just get caught? Trying to steal treats? All right, here's the part I've been dreading. Yep, this is it. This is my office, which is really cool. It was a room for the baby girl of the last people that owned the house but it has a closet it has these cute pink stripes which I don't really want to change I kind of like the theme but it also has all of my shit from Hawaii and just life and this is what the project was that I just am not looking forward to once I have it all set up it's gonna be wonderful but as of right now I'm just not feeling it even though I was this morning so I'm gonna see what I can do. I know that I cannot do the entire thing today, but maybe I can make enough progress so that the next time I have a chunk of free time, I can do the rest. So me and Miko are going to probably watch some vlogs. I'm going to sip some sparkling water out of my sweet stainless steel pink cup that matches the office. And we're gonna see where everything goes for now. Well, I am really shocked at myself for doing all of the things that I just did. So this is my office currently. Everything is cleaned up. I put my books and um, some of these basket drawer or fabric drawers up here. I don't know what I'm gonna put in them yet, but that's what this is gonna be, this is gonna kinda of be a craft dresser for now, so it's holding all like craft and makeup school stuff. This was in the closet, um, one of the closets that the kids used to play with. So we're gonna put it in my room and I can have uh, my mission board and to-do lists and that kind of thing. Not sure what's gonna go here, but maybe some sort of white furniture. My desk currently is a plastic table, just like last time. I found out that the filing cabinet is for legal files only, so none of my hanging folders fit. So so they're all in that little box still, and then there's some trash up there. I'm gonna hang my culinary school certificate up there, and then um, just a couple of my class, mm, then I'm gonna hang my class picture and a little poem up there, just kinda, you know, commemorating my education. And the closet. So we have some exercise stuff like my yoga mat, foam roller, weights and whatnot. Uh, this bin has all paper products and stuff you'd need for the printer or anything paper. This has printer ink and just like random office supplies up top. I have the shredder in there. And then these are just paperwork that I don't really use often. So my culinary school recipes and um, 
books, like everything from it. And one of these is my notebooks and journals that I don't really use, and I think one of them is my taxes since I've had a business in like 2012. So I am excited to have this place spruced up enough to the point where I literally now have no excuse to why I can't work on other things. So really happy, good, productive day so far. This is unacceptable. Miko is shedding like crazy, like it's really bad. So I just got out of the shower and Mike is home now and we're going to give Miko a bath and he's going to be the first being to use our new bathtub. Wet dog. The bathtub is covered in hair. It looks a lot worse in real life than it does on camera. This is dinner. It is a roasted chicken with a salad and rice. That's Mike's plate. I roasted a chicken today. I'm going to um, clean up that massacre later. We are finished with dinner, but I've had a craving for ice cream for how many days now? Three. At least three. And when it doesn't go away after two or three, that means it's time to get it. So we are headed off to Dairy Queen for a post-dinner treat. It is like almost seven o'clock. I haven't had Dairy Queen in a long time. Yeah, and me too. Miko is super excited to be in the car. He loves car rides. That he does. Look at him. <laughs> Miko, are you excited? Are you excited, buddy? Bye. Realm of possibility, although you got to think about the timelines. It's most you hey guys, it is the next morning. I did not properly end the vlog last night. In case you were wondering, my blizzard was not that good. I'm a little upset about it. I wanted something really chocolatey and, and like peanut butter, and like I had a specific craving, and I should have just gotten it instead of trying to get something different and new, which was like a brookie one, which was like chunks of brownie and cookie in it and the chunks just tasted so fake and awful it sucked um so <laughs> anyway that is gonna be it for this vlog it's about 6 15 about to head off to work mike is about to head off to work also um Give this video a like if you enjoy what you saw and all of our other videos on the channel and make sure you are subscribed for more and we'll see you in the next one.